how's everybody doing today? This is Rich here and we have a Rich TV Live with our very special guest. It is Brian Baldinger, who is a consultant with Clickstream, symbol C-L-I-S in America. How are you doing today, Brian? Uh, I'm fantastic, Rich. Good to be with you. Anytime I'm talking about Clickstream or football, I'm usually having a good day. Yeah, and you know what? I'm excited about both. So it's super excited to have you on the show. And you're a football analyst for the NFL Network, been watching you for years. How did you become affiliated with Clickstream and the WinQuick app? Yeah, well, it, it goes back about four or five years now, Rich. I was introduced to a man named Erwin Meyer, who's really involved with the whole company from the outset. And really, originally, Quick, Clickstream was really going to be designed in order to really help facilitate people that played fantasy sports, all sports. And so they, they came to me as a guy that was working at the NFL Network and at Fox Sports that eventually I could be a conduit when they finished the app to both the NFL Network and to Fox Sports because they were ramping up all of their programming for fantasy sports. And we had tested the NBA and we had good results, but we needed really to raise money in order to get uh, the engineers to really do it right at the NFL level. There's just a, a lot more algorithms to write. And we needed the best data possible to feed it. And, you know, we were just up against trying to raise that money for a long time. We just couldn't get the raise. And so eventually, you know, it, it fell into other people's hands that wanted to take it on. And from just the fantasy angle to really the gaming angle, it took a shift over the last, say, nine months to a year. And that's really how I got involved in re really the direction that we're all now headed very good. Now, you've seen the whole process from the very beginning, but it seems like the company has really taken off in the past few months. What have been the biggest developments? Well, like anything, you're a football fan, Rich. You, you have to build the right team. You know, you're a fan of the Dallas Cowboys. I played for the Cowboys. It's a great organization. Always has been. Um, you you're, grew up in Toronto. Your friends were Buffalo Bill fans. I mean, there was a stretch when Bill Polian, put the best team together, led by Marv Levy, you know, in the AFL, in the AFC for a long time, four straight Super Bowls. And that's what we've done. We've assembled a great team, and we kind of know what our strengths are at this point. <clears throat> and so we're, we're getting the buzz out there. We're getting really close to beta testing next week, where we're really ready to start the beginning to launch this app real soon. And so it's just getting a lot of positive buzz. I think a lot of it is <clears throat> due to the pandemic. And people are just looking for something new right now. Um, my friend, Matt Rule, who's the head coach of the Carolina Panthers now, but I knew him at Temple and at Baylor. I mean, he was telling his team this year that a third of all businesses are started during a recession. And I feel like that's kind of where we're at in this world right now. We're just looking for new devices, new technology, new, new ways to be either entertained or do business. And I think this is a way that people can really – stay on their digital device, stay on their mobile device and, you know, have some fun, win some money. And that's kind of the direction that we've all been going right now as we begin uh, th this launch and all the shows that we have on our app. That's fantastic. I understand that the WinQuick app is having a live beta test, which you kind of touched on, um, on Thursday, August the 13th at 9 p.m. Eastern. What can you tell me about the beta test? Well, the beta test is really a chance to iron out bugs, okay? We can really have a test audience. What works? Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a complex piece of technology for both mobile and digital devices. And so we, we want to find out if we've got everything ironed out to really launch properly, where we don't have to go back in and really redo any sort of technology. And so I think it's a, it's a great chance with uh, probably about a month or maybe a less than a month before we launch, depending on how the whole beta testing goes, that we can kind of see what they like and don't like at this point. And I can't wait to see what the audience thinks because we've been trying it out ourselves within our own group every Friday on our Zoom meetings that we've been having. And we can see, you know, the development from the very beginning and how the video works, how the gaming works, um, how all of the moving parts have come together. So now it's time to really test it. Tell me about your first month of production. What was it like? How did it go? It was really good. It was really interesting. Uh, you know, we have 
a real diverse group right now. We have, you know, Howie Schwab, Stump the Schwab with sports trivia. Myself, I, I do, you know, sports movies trivia. And we'll then kind of move into some other directions as we move along. Uh, Amber Theo Harris does religion. Mike Andino, or Jordan Andino right now, is a you know, prolific chef that has restaurants in New York City. He's doing a cooking show. Michael Hawk is an ex-Green Beret. You know, he did filming on uh, self-defense and on survival, something that he knows a great deal about. You know, and so we, we did six or seven different shows. And I was there for most of the, the filming. It was just a lot of energy is what you want. A lot of energy. Uh, <clears throat> you know, we, we, once we got into a groove, we kind of knocked out a bunch of shows. Everybody did the first four or five shows that are being, you know, fed into our app uh, and we'll be ready to launch when we do. And so it was, you know, our first chance kind of really doing it, looking at the questions, teasing the audience, having some fun with the audience, telling some initial stories about some of our, you know, some of the outtakes from it and just some of our background so that people can kind of get to know us. Can you tell me a little bit about the type of trivia questions users can expect from you? Is it all sports movies or is that just for the initial launch? It's for the initial launch. I mean, I'll eventually uh, get into travel. That's my, my real passion when I'm not talking about football. I do football 24 seven for the NFL, for Fox sports, for a lot of outlets right now, Rich. But I mean, if, if we went into, you know, travel, I mean, I, I've been to 68 countries. Wow. Me and my brother, we started a group called the travel dogs. We've, we travel with, you know, rock groups, Bruce Springsteen throughout Europe. We, we travel with Billy Joel. We've been to Carnival in Brazil. We, we've been to, uh, you know, the running of the bulls in Pamplona. I mean, you name it, we probably have done it. And so, I mean, I could do trivia travel questions, which how wide is the Amazon River? How high is Mount Kilimanjaro, the highest peak in Africa? Um, you know, I, you know, what day does the running of the bulls, the, the Pamplona running of the bulls, the San Fermin festival, what day does it start every day or every year? You know, I mean, you could just rattle a hundred off the top of my head and I, I could probably do four or five shows just there without doing any research at all. Wow. Now I can't wait to take your travel quizzes and you just mentioned how many countries you have traveled to. Um, and will you use your experience to write some of these questions? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I, I've been to uh, 68 countries, Rich. So I've lived in six different countries. Uh, I lived in uh, London, England, a, a number of years when we did NFL Europe. I lived in Amsterdam. I lived in uh, Frankfurt, Germany. I lived in uh, Sitges, Spain. Uh, you know, I spent a lot of time in Costa Rica. So, I mean, I've lived and been outside the country a great deal. So I'll use, you know, my you know, how many regions does the country of Italy have? I coached a football team in Italy in 2010, the wow. Bergamo Lions. So, you know, how many teams are in the World League of American Football in Italy? Uh, you know, uh, what are the cities that they are in? Um, it's been around for over 30 years, that league. At one time, over had over 100 teams competing in Italy. Um, I've taught football in, uh, throughout Scandinavia, throughout Italy, uh, you know, in, in different parts of Europe. So all that will come into play. I, you know, we, we missed the, the Grand Prix of Monaco this year. I went to that event in 2001 with the Ferrari team and was a guest. And so lived on a Club Med boat, you know, and took helicopter. I mean, it was just, you know, one of those events that you never forget. So I will use a great deal of my experience in these other countries to write a lot of these travel questions and to test, uh, you know, our growing audience, because I think it's going to be a worldwide audience, Rich, uh, to really test their knowledge of some of these places and some of these questions. I think so too. And as a former NFL lineman, you've experienced the highest level of competition. How do users compete on the WinQuick app? And will the competition be challenging, fun, and rewarding? Well, you got to think quick to play quick to win quick. All of our games have a chance to win money. So you have to, it's free to download. It's free to, uh, free to play, and there's free money to win. So you have 10 seconds to answer 10 questions. So we score you, Rich, with how many correct choices and answers you make and the time that you take in order to score it. So you're going to get two scores. So we can, we can figure out the winner between 
the number of correct responses and the amount of time that it took. And so these games are very quick, but you know, you have to have a quick agile mind in this world. We all know that Rich. I mean, it's a challenging place right now. So if you want to win money, we don't just give it to you. It's not just, uh, you know, come get your, uh, your free money. You have to earn it. And so we want a quick agile mind. Uh, some of the questions can be easier and they can get harder as you go along. And so we kind of tease you as we move along during the, uh, during the quizzes. I like that. I like that. Do you or will you be having any surprises for the win quick audience? Maybe special guests? Well, you know, we have a, a very diverse group of, you know, people involved in our com company. I mean, I, I could see just myself if I was doing NFL trivia. I mean, I could see Kurt Warner coming on and being a guest. I mean, I don't want to just, I mean, I could see people that I work with every day. I work out of NFL films. I work in Los Angeles at our headquarters at the NFL Network. Um, I'm in all 32, you know, training camps. It's this thing becomes... Uh, more and more popular. I can see grabbing, you know, our network of friends uh, at the NFL level or throughout the NBA wow. uh, coming in and being, uh, you know, guest host or uh, hosting you know, certain shows. I don't want to make any promises right now, but I think this is going to be so much fun that people are going to gravitate towards this WinQuick app. Um, and I think it will be just a matter of time before we can have special guests come on board. That's great. Why do you think the WinQuick app will go viral and be a major success? Well, I think everybody uh, likes a chance to win money. I mean, there's action involved, right? So, I mean, I think that's an initial uh, thing that will bring people to the app, all right? Chance to win money. I mean, in the first month, Rich, we have $72,000 in prize money to give out. Wow. Okay? Oh, you know, through six or seven different shows. All right, and that could, that's going to raise and get raised as more and more sponsors come on board. But that's just the first month, all right? So that's, that's the initial thing. I think it's fun. It, it, we sort of uh, have fun with the app. We, we tease you when these live shows are going to happen. You then can play the show just for fun after the prize money is given out, and you can score points. And we could select winners through point total to keep you engaged. And just because you get an, an answer wrong, you don't get – kicked out of the club. You stay in um, all the way to the end. Uh, we want to hold your interest. Um, and so, because we never know, you never know where you are going to score within the contest. So I think all of those things, I, I think it's, it's on all uh, Android and iOS devices. So whatever your uh, mobile device is, you can download it. You can play it for free. Um, you could do it at, you know, uh, you could kind of set the time during the day. It's a, it's a very user-friendly app at this point, very easy to download, easy to figure out how to play, easy to get involved. So I think all those things are going to make it really one of those new apps that's just going to catch fire. You know, and nobody else is doing this. It's a digital television show, okay, digital television show, a digital network with games where you can win money. And so I think – you know, I don't know about you, Rich, but all of my nieces and nephews, you know, from age, you know, eight to 20 right now, they don't watch a lot of television, maybe a little Netflix, but they're on their phones. And this is really made for your phone. And Absolutely. everybody has it attached in their hand right now. Absolutely. So one question I have is, how does the company make money then? Is it through advertising? You, you mentioned sponsorship. So I'm assuming that you guys are going to go and get like a certain amount of advertising dollars every month yep. and then say, okay, 72,000 is going to go towards the quizzes mm -hmm. and X amount is going to go towards building our business, growing the company. Mm -hmm. And that will just grow as the popularity of the app grows, the revenue will grow. And then a profit sharing will be then, uh, I guess, filtered down to the quiz winners. Is that the idea of the app? Well, I mean, I think the idea is it's really, it's going to be advertising driven. Okay. So there'll be advertisements throughout the app. And then, you know, depending on the number of clicks, you hit certain, you know, numbers, you know, that those dollars can be generated more and more. Um, so there, there'll be some sort of direct correlation between all that. We're still looking to raise money uh, out there on the street right now where we can increase our programming, increase our visibility, all those kind of things through advertisements and through just generating more interest. 
uh, all those different ways that we can do that. A lot of that money will go there, but the money will filter down to the people that are actually playing the games. I absolutely love that. Thank you so much for your time today, Brian. I wish you all the best of luck with Clickstream. Seems like a great idea. You got a lot of star power behind it. And I know that we're going to tell our entire community about this story and continue yep. to tell the story. And hopefully you guys can achieve all the goals that you've set for yourselves. We have a lot of goals and they keep kind of expanding, Rich. But, you know, you're in, you know, Western, uh, Northwest Canada right now. You're in Vancouver. Yes. We love our neighbors to our north. We love our neighbors to our south. Uh, I want this to be a global enterprise. That's how I think. That's how I live my life, traveling, living in these different countries. And so we want to be inclusive and we want to get the word out globally right now. And we hope that um, we can be doing these type of interviews with people on all seven continents one day, Rich. Well, I would look forward to that. Thank you so much for your time today, Brian. Yep. Wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors. Keep up the great work with Clickstream and the NFL Network, my friend. Thanks for having me, Rich. I appreciate it. And uh, look forward to seeing you down the road. Yeah. And remember this. Remember this. you got to think quick, play quick to win quick. All right? Put it in your head. You know, once you get inside there, Rich, you'll never get it out. I like it. Thank you so much, Brian. Keep up the great work. And we'll talk to you soon, my friend. All right. Thanks, Rich. Thanks, Rich.